Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Corey. If you've been following us for a while, you recognize Salem here behind us. This is our travel trailer. She just came back out of storage from the winter uh, last weekend. Today is really the first good day that we've had for weather-wise since. So we are uh, getting outside. We're getting some things done on the trailer here so we can get water running and get things sanitized and things like that and start getting ready for the uh, travel season. So but as many of you know i have disabilities and have a hard time getting around um, on some of our longer trips i will typically rent a mobility scooter just to be able to have with us to be able to get around a little bit easier on those those uh meaningful trips and things like that so and this year my daughter madison she's graduating high school so here she'll be done with school here in about another week gearing up for graduation so she may not be traveling with us as much as what she used to and trying to transfer a mobility scooter in and out of the truck without a spare set of hands is a little difficult so we are looking for ways that we can make our rv travel easier on me and lori because it may just be just the two of us here uh, before too long and uh, we got to gear up for that so making a few changes in how we travel in our rv and how we can go about doing this kind of stuff so let me uh flip you around just kind of show you kind of what we got going on right now so you can see i picked up a used topper for the for the truck color doesn't match um it's for a little bit older f-250 mine's a 2010 this came off of a 2007 so it's a few years newer, same length bed. Thought I'd be good buying it. I got it so cheap I couldn't I couldn't really complain. I got this thing for 60 bucks. It's fiberglass topper, carpeted line, all that good stuff. It was toppers a nice shape. What I found was tailgates are different on the 2007 to the 2010s. And the back hatch, this one being a uh, kind of an odd full fiberglass wrap around hatch didn't match the contour of my tailgate so i'm having to do some things to alleviate that what i kind of came up with is if i could cut this lip off and let it set on top of the tailgate and start to wrap the tailgate and then put a seal on the bottom of that 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 is what we would go ahead and do i got my end pieces of my trim off here on the truck right now is i got some other things going on so let's go ahead and show you kind of what we did okay so the first thing i did is i found me a mobility scooter here that i was able to purchase used it was barely used the uh, lady that had had it had passed away she didn't have it for very long and her family was looking to sell it got it at a reasonable price if those guys are watching thank you very much for the scooter appreciate it very much it uh, is going to come in handy for many years to come. It's in great shape. I uh, can't complain at all. You know, I got the price of the scooter for about what it would cost me to rent the scooter. Depending on where I'm renting it, I rented one to go to North Carolina. I rented it for $450 for the month. I bought the scooter for $500. I've rented scooters for two weeks in Mackinac and have it be almost six, dollars $700 for two weeks of rental. So been wanting to do this for a long time. Just was never in a position to be able to try to do that when I needed to. And uh, this year is kind of push come to shove. We had to do something. So so we had the scooter. We had to try to figure out how we we're going to get the scooter in and out of the truck by myself. I got looking around at uh, wheelchair lifts, uh, mobility scooter lifts. And uh, I found a company called Bruno. They make these awesome uh, lifts. This one here is called a curb cider. And it actually lifts the scooter all the way out and around the tailgate and we'll set the scooter on the ground beside the truck. So I got looking on Facebook Marketplace and I found quite a few of these uh, used out there that people had reasonably priced. These things are an electric hoist. It has up, down, in and out. And if equipped, it has the retract and extend the arm to get it a little farther. This one did not have that. This one, uh, it has it on the control, but it doesn't have it on the unit itself. It just has a solid bar up here. But yeah, these things work really great. I can lift the scooter. So you can see here, I'm lifting it up. It moves fairly quickly. I can bring it out of the truck. And this will actually swing all the way around outside the truck and drop the scooter onto the ground for me. Okay, swing this around so you can see. It has a C arm right here that goes into a uh, bracket that mounts to the scooter 
that once it's on the ground, I can pull that C arm out, then the scooter's ready to go. And then when I need to put it back in, I can go ahead and put that arm back into it. I can load it right back into the truck and I can put my scooter back down on the ground and we're good to go. So this right here is gonna be a really nice addition for uh, while we're traveling. Said so you can see here, the carpet's kind of hanging on the uh, topper here a little bit. Topper needs some love, it's been sitting. Like I said, it doesn't color match the truck. So I think what I'm gonna do is, as the weather's improving here, we're going to pull the topper off one weekend and we're gonna sand this down and I'm gonna Raptor line it with Raptor bed liner, same as I did my bumpers and my fender flares last year so that it will match the truck the other thing we got going on here is with the tailgate where the uh curbsider here had to mount in the bed of the truck it's got to mount out as far as edge as you can get so that the swing arm can get all the way out outside the topper and get to where it go it needs to go and the plastic bed liner that was on the tailgate the ones with the stop bar stick up like inch and a half, two inches, and it was hitting the curbsider. So I needed to take it off. I never really liked it anyways. It was kind of gouged up over the years, had sharp edges and stuff. Getting in and out of the back of the truck, it was sharp on your knees and things like that, and it really hurt. Well, guys, that's all I have for you this week, but make sure you follow along as we're going to have some additional videos on the modifications to the camper shell as well as the tailgate on the truck as we progress on that project. And make sure you comment down below, like this video, and until next time, if we don't catch you on the road, we'll see you.